Zimbabwe's political environment is toxic with citizens polarized by personality politics, self-exiled former cabinet minister Jonathan Moyo has said. Moyo was responding to a public backlash after he urged the MDC alliance to divert funds raised for the purchase of a bulletproof car for opposition leader Nelson Chamisa towards mobilizing polling agents for the 2023 elections. Zimbabweans in the diaspora have raised over US$120.000 for the purchase of an armored vehicle after his convoy came under attack during his Meet the People tours in rural areas. Moyo said Zimbabwe was engrossed in personality politics. The one major reason why Zimbabweans, as a body politic, are ill prepared to deal with the country's deteriorated political conditions is because they are balkanized by the politics of affection, driven by principles over principles, wherein personalities always trump up ideas. Moyo tweeted. As a telling example of the toxic tragedy of Zimbabwe's politics of affection today, last week I found myself in the ire of cultic anger after I dared challenge the wisdom of the US $120.000 Goffin for VIP bulletproof car for Atmel Sanchumisa. Notably, the trolls did not offer much of an argument nor really want me to explain myself. All they were about was to demonize me as a person. Objectively speaking, it's irrational for a party with no institutional capacity and in desperate need for administrative support, within the calendar cycle of a general election, to prioritize the purchase of a VIP bulletproof car for its leader. But MDC Alliance spokesperson Fidzei Mahir dismissed Moyo's rant saying the fundraising drive was not a party initiative. The fundraising we have seen by the diaspora across the world is citizen-driven not party-driven. The citizens have the right to set their priorities and take action in the manner they see best to support the struggle, Mahir said. The clear message from the people is that they will own, scaffold and support the struggle. They will stand shoulder to shoulder with Chamisa and the movement as we face persecution. Dot Information Permanent Secretary Nick Mangwana recently said the yet-to-be-bought vehicle risked being seized. Police impounded late MDC leader Morgan Svangere South Africa registered bulletproof BMW X5 towards the June 2008 elections claiming that the car was not properly imported into the country.